Hello, beautiful Aries friends. We have your love reading for you. Let's take a look and see what the energies are in love for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I highly suggest you, you watch all four videos. So let's see what Aries has going on. Aries, Nine of Earth. You are feeling very solid in your love relationship at this time. The recent past has made you feel as though your person is investing in you. They see your value. You really come to the table quite skilled at whatever you do, and you bring a lot with you. Patience. You your person is feeling as though they need to go the distance to make things right with you. Sagittarius energy, they're showing a lot of patience. They want to please you. They want to show you that they appreciate you. This person is using Jupiter good luck and trying. They want to win your heart and keep you with them. The two of fire, the reason they are working so hard right now is they are at a crossroads in their own life and they want you to take a path with them. They're about to choose to take one path or another and they want you by their side, Aries. Very powerful energy as your person goes through a, a life change here. They see you as someone who's very intellectual, as someone, they really want you here. They want you on board and they don't really know if you're coming on board. The Ace of Air, you know, you could go either way with this. They're really not sure how you feel. You've said some things to them that have made it very clear that you won't necessarily make this decision in their favor. They also know that a real thorny issue between the two of you could be, for some of you, not everyone, but telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You have great clarity about what makes you happy. Your person is madly in love with you, period. Look at this. We have Gemini energy here, and this is the lover's card, and it is time for them to step up to the plate, give their all, give their best, and they know it. You are at a point in time when you are about to make a decision about their future, the future of their love life, and they are very cognizant of the fact that they didn't always make it easy for you. They didn't always show great appreciation for you. The Queen of Air, they do feel as though if you said no to them, this is sort of a, the Judge Judy card, the female judge bringing down the gavel, you know, cutting them out of their life, and they are very afraid that you are going to do that. This is a wise woman, and she does not put up with nonsense, and that is you, Aries. You know, I'm saying, you know, the genders can, these are, there's no gender in tarot. These are energies, so if I say she, I just mean feminine energy. We get the four of air. What's hidden between the two of you is a need to heal. There's been things that have gone on in this relationship that have not been to your liking, Aries, here you are. You're not sure what you're going to do. Your partner knows that you're not sure what you're going to do. The four of air, you need to heal some aspects of the relationship. And spirit is saying equal give and take is the primary area that needs to be healed in this relationship. The Empress card speaks to the fact that you are manifesting this relationship. Your person sees you as the Empress. They will treat you as the Empress. They want to take care of you. They want to nurture you. They feel as though you are the only person for them and that if you walk away, they will be absolutely devastated. They feel as though you might have threatened to walk away in the past. The two of air says they have no idea where you stand on this. So let's look and see how this is going to develop here. So in terms of your feelings about this person, let's see what you think here. We're going to do your feelings with one layer of clarifiers. Then we're going to look at their feelings, okay, and see what the how they will respond to what you're doing. 
Okay. So right now, oh, you are all air sign energy. Woo, Mercury retrograde. You are so Gemini energy right now. You are very much in your head. You are not in your feels. You're not dreamy. You're not impractical. You're, you're really judging this person for their past actions. That's all that counts to you. The devil energy says that they might be a saint now, but you're not really buying it. You feel as though this person is manipulative. You feel as though they keep secrets. As they make this life choice, how are you going to deal with that? Five of Cups, you may let them go. Wow, Aries. Oh, you are really... They have really... As there's a term, I won't use it though. <laughs> this person has made some pretty big errors with you, Aries. Really big errors with you. The Eight of Cups, here we go. The Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups. You really are inclined to walk away from this person. You feel as though you've invested a lot of time with them. Two of... of um, of air again, or excuse me, two of wands, uh, really speaks to the fact that you are, you feel as though you've invested enough. This person needs to figure out what they want to do. You're not above letting them go. You love them. I can see that you really care deeply, but they've done a lot of damage to this relationship. There's just a part of you that would like the adventure, but not necessarily with them. Okay, the Ace of Wands does say that you feel passionately attracted to this person. Although you don't trust them, they are just not, they don't seem to understand how to give. They don't seem to understand that there's a give and flow emotionally in a relationship. You feel as though they're manipulative. Okay, how do you feel about this manifestation? You're holding back, you know, whatever it is that they're promising, whatever it is that they're dangling, almost like a carrot in front of you, is not something you necessarily trust. You feel as though you'd like to go down and, you know, see. You feel as though, but you know, part of you just doesn't see this happening. There is a part of you that feels a high level of disbelief about this. This two of fire up here is, we see the two of wands twice. So this is your person making a choice about their future. And this is you making a choice that may kick them to the curb with the queen of air. You just, there's something about this relationship. There's something about the way they interact with you. They've let you down. They've hurt you. They've been manipulative. They've been secretive. So we get this energy, Aries, right now that I'm really not sure that you you're really willing to go down with this and certainly not to make, you're not going to make any big promises, I can tell you that. You're just not. So for those of you who might be interested in, in the extended reading, if this resonates with you, I'm going to go to the extended and we're going to go ahead and we're going to clarify your person's actions, how they're going to respond. We're going to look at their thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. We're going to look at uh, how happy you would be if you were to say yes. Okay, so we're going to do a clarification spread in the extended, then we're going to do a spread a Celtic showing their thoughts, feelings, intentions about you. Then we're going to look and see your thoughts, feelings, and intentions about what they're offering you. Okay, and we'll clarify those as we need. But anyway, if you want to, the, just, the link is in the description box below for the extended. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in another reading. Sending you love from Chicago. Please enter the contest. There, everything you need to know is in the description box. And thank you so much. Take care. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Bye-bye, Aries.